all sorts of things. And I've landed with Vision Production Group. Um, I am their senior producer and VP yeah. of operations. So that's really where I've been and just absolutely loving what I do. I mean, how lucky right. are we to be able to do what we love mm -hmm. and yes. do it at this level, so. Welcome to Set Life, where we tell stories from our industry. I'm Kelly Leger, and this is Amber Buto. Welcome to Set Life. I'm Amber Buto, and I am joined today. Y'all are in a big treat. I am joined today with Ruth and Alan. And I said before <laughs> that I was going to let y'all say your last name instead of me saying it before I butcher it. Via Toro. Via or some Toro. people say Villa Toro. Via See? Toro. Okay, so my <laughs> last name is Buto with a D on the end of yeah. it, and everyone pronounces it Butad. Yeah. You know, and then I say Buto and they say Buta. And then, you know, so I just would rather let you go ahead and say that the way that it's that's supposed Generally to be. Generally we say Via Toro. Via yeah. Toro. Thank you for coming and sitting. I can't wait for everybody to hear y'all's story today. Uh married. Yeah. in the industry for such a long time yeah. have done such great things so um let's okay let's dive in first normally we go back into like your history of like when did you know you wanted to be in this industry and how did you get into it at mm -hmm. what age did you know that we hear a lot of people that are like eight nine ten years old like i got my camera or mm -hmm. you know they put makeup in my hand or whatever at such a young age and i just knew this is what i wanted to do was there a moment like that for the two of you well for me i was always very theatrical but i really wanted to be a newscaster on camera so when I went to college, I joined the newscasting team there and I was absolutely terrible. I was the worst TV anchor you've ever met. <laughs> and I even have video to prove that. Um, so I decided to go behind the cameras and I just clicked and I loved it. Mm. Great. Great. Yeah. Well, in my case, I guess it was when my mom found an old dusty guitar yeah. in one of my uncle's houses. And uh, she just came back home and said, hey, here's this guitar. It was Again, it was old and just nobody would have given a cent for that guitar. But she put it in my hand and said, I think you maybe you will you'll be able to get some sound of sound of that. And that was I didn't know that was going to be the beginning of my entire career until until today. So I'm, I'm I definitely attribute that to my mom. When, that moment when she gave me that guitar and it became my my life since then. Yeah. Yeah. That is so great. It's one of my favorite parts of this is finding out when like the birth of yeah. this industry, you know, yeah. began in people. I think it's so cool. So, okay. So you've been in the music, you started in the music, but we'll go with you first. And you, you have stayed kind of mainly in the music industry, producing from Grammy nominations to Dove nominations, um, all the way to the pinnacle of this career. Where and how did that journey start? What was your love for that? What, what did that look like? Yeah, I, that was a long time ago, but definitely that the connection started right at that moment when I got that guitar. And I, one of the guys that used to be a musician at my parents' church saw me, like kind of messing with it a little bit. And then he offered to give me some lessons for free, which is, I, I, I was like, that's probably one of the best gifts I've ever gotten in my life, wow. you know? And then he taught me my first chords, my first melodies. The first song I ever learned was La Bamba, you wow. know, which was like till the day we play it with my, with our son. We play oh. a lot with our son. So, but, and that just definitely marked the beginning of something very special. And I, I knew right away that that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And um, I made the decision pretty quickly in my, you know, in, in when I was very, very young. I think I was like 14 years old, mm -hmm. somewhere there when I was like, this is what I want to do. And I remember my dad telling me, this is what you want to do. You, you want to get ready like you should be ready. Mm -hmm. Go to college for it, study for it. And then... Thankfully, I had the support of them, both That's of my great. parents, and yeah. and uh, I was learning a lot on my own. Mm -hmm. But that journey took me to Mexico. To yeah. I went to I went to college in Mexico to to study music, and from there it just basically took off. I started traveling, touring from there. You know, those tours I was going to school and and touring at the same time as as a music director for a very well known artist and. Uh, and, you know, it's just I was in plane, you know, flying from one country to another. We were hitting 26 countries in one year, wow. but I was doing homework in the planes. 
Okay. So, so, and, and that was, uh, that was pretty amazing to see what all the stuff that happened mm -hmm. with, with that music and all mm -hmm. that music world uh, pushed me to explore another avenue, sound production, uh, music production, audio pose, sound design, voiceover recording, that basically music was the beginning of all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. And what a great experience to just jump into and then have exposure to all of it. Mm. I mean, all the people we've set with, first of all, we love film school. We support film school. Absolutely. But uh, have all said the first time you get on set, the first time you get to go and be around the actual entertainment industry, what you learned and you're like, oh, I could do that or, mm. oh, I like that or, oh, I am not talent or I am yeah. not, you know I mean? Like right. you quickly find out yeah. what, you know, what you're bent or you lean towards, mm -hmm. you know, and how great was that for you to get to go and see the music industry at the highest level and then go, okay, how do I skinny that down? And like, what facets of this do I really want to dive into or learn or become yeah. better at, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, as a career? Yeah. And, and traveling was a huge part of it. Touring was amazing. But it was tiring too. There is yeah. uh, everybody thinks, oh, traveling the world is amazing, which it is, sure. but it's tiring. There is a prize behind it, yep. and uh, and obviously after a few years, our kids were born. So we're like, uh, I don't want to miss my kids' childhood. I, I yeah. don't want. I want to experiment this. I want to live this. Yeah. That's probably what drove me to stay more behind the scenes mm. and and just started working. You know, explore the world of uh, again sound design, audio post production yeah. and uh, and uh i could still do what i do and what i love to do mm -hmm. but not necessarily traveling just with from a different perspective and it's been amazing it's been great mm -hmm. it's been a great industry and that has put me in contact with a bunch of clients all over the place agencies production how ho production houses uh broadcasting companies all of that stuff so it's 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 been it's been a real 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 treat yeah you know? yeah that's so great. Okay, so now we're going to jump. Absolutely. We're going to jump to, okay, you're, you were in the music, but moved more on the production side, right? Yes. Yeah, so right out of college, which was journalism, communications, um, I basically had two choices. One was a job offer to go to an agency and be a researcher or move down to Mexico, work with a record label and help promote their artists and their live events and music experiences. And I hardly spoke any Spanish. I had studied it. And I'm like, you know what? This is like I'm single. I'm out of college. Let's just do this. <laughs> yeah. And um, moved down to Mexico. Moved and I'm in glad with you the did. Wow. That's where we met. I'm glad you <laughs> moved. We went on tour. And it was a fiery tour. And we got married. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love that. Because my question was going to be, did y'all meet on set? Oh, well, yeah. There it tour. is. Like, I, I, we were going around. I was like, this guy is picking up a lot of my suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> I carry things a lot than the other guys so mm. <laughs> oh that is so great mm. yeah so m music bondage all together oh, correct sure. correct Absolutely. so about when we were into it the um the record label cancion music and the artist marcos witt came to houston to join up with joel osteen at lakewood church and brought us along to work with that whole startup of the spanish service at lakewood and that's how we ended up in houston and I came in as the director editor for that mm. show and he was music director and we worked with that whole startup of the Spanish service. It was 20, 22 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. So how long did that last? Like what, how long were we all there? What was that chapter like? We were there for about six years or so. Um, Working there, I learned so much. I think that's where I really learned how to refine my my um, my industry, my yeah, your skill by doing, editing yeah. and learning workflows and stuff. It was a little chaotic first going in, and I really refined my skills. And I I started getting a passion for you know I want to try this and I want to try that. And so um, I decided to move out on my own and I work with some studios and freelance in town um, and really got into documentaries and mm -hmm. um, working with commercials and TV and 
all sorts of things. And I've landed with Vision Production Group. Um, I am their senior producer and VP yeah. of operations. So that's really where I've been and just absolutely loving what I do. I mean, how lucky Great. are we to be able to do what we love and yes. do it at this level? So, yeah, yeah, that's great. Do you think, um, so I'm passionate about, well, I should say I love music and I love, I think it's a completely different world than uh, movie, video yeah. production. Absolutely. Like they're two different kinds of ways. Um, and, and, I, and I love it. What do you think drew you from the music side into the storytelling side? Well, I'm not musical at all. I can't sing. Yeah, I, you can. I you will can. get up and sing karaoke. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. But <laughs> I, it was my first opportunity. Um, my dad is a musician. My husband's a mu musician. My son is a musician. I'm just surrounded by music. Wow. And I think it just brings another skill set to my producing side. I've always yes. been better behind with the cameras and editing. But it really does bring a whole next level to yeah. what I can do as a producer. I really have a deep understanding for music yeah. and how the industry works and, and all of that. So it's been nothing but a blessing and, and I love it. I wish I was musical, but I really not. <laughs> Me too. I couldn't hold a tune to save my life. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm great I love at it music. so much. I'm great at music trivia. I kill it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm not even good at that. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, um, in your journey of, of music kind of moving more from in front to behind to producing and the, the sound engineering and all of that. Where do you think is your sweet spot? Where did you really land that you're like, ah, this is really what I, I really gifted and love to do and see you continuing to grow in? Uh, you know, in the past 10, 12 years, maybe a little bit more, I discovered that I really, 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 really enjoy it when a client sends me a video, a short film, a feature film, whatever, a commercial campaign, and they say, we have this cut, and we need you to bring music to it. We need you to mm. bring it to life with music. Wow. And they just sent me the cut, whether it's like, again, 30 seconds, 15 minutes, whatever, and then you, I get to watch it for the first time and just come up with something that will just musically dress the project mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and bring it to life. And I've been doing that for a long time. And uh, I, I love it, I enjoy doing that because I get to sit in my studio, grab whatever instrument, I mean, this may need a guitar, this may need a piano, this may need whatever, yeah. and just put life to the project. Wow. And honestly, that started just by accident, I will say, because I was working at the time with a, with a very well-known broadcasting company and I have a, I have a, I have a friend that worked there with me, and he said, "Oh, it's this team, baseball team, very well-known team in Houston, Texas, was is looking for a music cut for a project. Would you be interested in doing it?" And I was like, "Well, I've never done that before. Yeah. Would you be interested in doing that?" I'm like, "Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's see what yeah. happens." I created a whole piece of music. I think it was about two minutes or something in like one night in my studio at home. And I sent it to them and they absolutely loved it. And I was like, well, this is great because this huge team, baseball team locally. You can say names, right? Uh, I mean, it's yeah, like, but uh, I mean. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, they loved it and they used it. It was for this a Spanish side of what they were doing. Yeah. And then from there, another guy from an agency called me and said, this company is called, it need this, this, la, 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 la. And they, they started pouring in. I'm like, okay, great. I guess I can do this. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just basically that side of it. I kind of fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. Just bringing life to certain projects that are already visually beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But bring them to life with music and sound. So I, I guess that's a, that's a, that's something that I really enjoy. Uh -huh. I think I, I, I am successful doing yeah. that, and I, I really, really love doing that. You know, that was part of where I was going with the question, uh, mm -hmm. so this fell right into it, was, you know, so many creatives love the storytelling process, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like, to just tell stories mm -hmm. and bring them to life, whether you bring them to life through the lighting or you bring them through, you know, storyboard, like, all the, the writing and yeah. the... Um, cinematography, all of it, but I say the music 
is so much of the story. Absolutely. You know, yeah. I mean, when the music is, the, when the magic happens, when the music hits what you've creatively done visually so well, mm -hmm. when the music hits that, it's like, there's yeah. the magic. Absolutely. There, There's the magic. So there's mm -hmm. such a art form to that. Absolutely. You know, yeah. um, and, and syncing up all of that where the sounds hit at the right time, where you're leading us with that emotion. I mean, mm -hmm. it, in my opinion, it's a large part of the emotional pool. Mm -hmm. You know, you put the wrong music to the most beautiful thing. You're like, <laughs> what <Yeah>. happened? Exactly. <laughs> you know? It kills the project. It does. It, it, it. really does. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I think that is so cool that you can see storytelling in music. Absolutely. It's a huge, huge part of it. And, and, and then not only that, but it also goes to sound design and sound mixing. Those are two elements Like you can have the most amazing piece of music with this project. But if it's not well mixed, yeah. if it's not supported by the correct sound design, then you, you take, lose. yeah, you take away from the project. So mm -hmm. everything is, it goes together and it's, it's a huge part of the storytelling that you're saying. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And learning to be behind the camera and telling the story again, it's still story. It, it is still telling the story. It's making sure that all the details in the story hit the bar. I, you know, I sit behind the camera mostly producing as well. So we get each other's worlds, mm -hmm. you know, and trying to say, uh, okay, what creative do I know that has seen a certain way that's like this? They would be, their music would be so great with this. Yeah. And, and this cinematographer already sees this way and they would be great to work with this. And mm -hmm. it's that you're, yeah, as much as I would love to say producers' jobs are super creative, they're about like 5% creativity and like 95% project management and, yes. and herding cats. So <laughs> one thing I do enjoy, though, is we do have the ability to find the right talent for the right project. Yes. And that's a huge piece of it. Like yeah. not all editors are good for a certain job Correct. and not all, you know, designers or DPs. And so that is the art form of producing yes. is putting the right team together with the right vision. And, you know, we like to say a vision, we're problem solvers. That's, that's what we are. And, um, that's a big piece of the job. And when it all goes smooth, you have this team that's just clicking and working yeah. together. And that's to me, the art of just seeing this happen yep. because I was really good at coordinating it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I think though, that last 5% is the game changing 5%. Mm -hmm. Very much. So even though we aren't as much on the creative sides as the producers, um, if we can't creatively see the vision for it to be something, mm -hmm. none of the creative pieces work together. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, if you miss the mark on that, then it doesn't matter how great you manage something. Right. It doesn't matter how great you you know, dot every T, I mean, cross every T, dot every I and do all of that. If first the vision didn't even make sense and you didn't put the right creatives together artistically, you've completely missed mm -hmm. the mark. I, in, in you're, my absolute, opinion. you're absolutely right. And it is, it's putting the puzzle together, yeah. um, putting the right pieces in there. And I mean, if you think about our industry, it's such an odd industry. I mean, it has this very high technology piece to it with creativity. Yes. You have to be good at both yeah. to make it work. And then you have to bring the people in to bring it all together. And it's just an odd industry if you think about it. And mm -hmm. it takes a very special person to be successful in it too. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can just press buttons and put something together, but to yep. put it together in a way that is artfully told yes. and has an impact and actually touches people to mm -hmm. respond, mm -hmm. that's a different story. Mm -hmm. And I say that's being able to use at the executive level, the producing level mm -hmm. behind the camera. In my opinion, you have to be able to use your right side of your brain and the left side of your brain. Absolutely. Yes. Like yes. you're hopping between the two, yeah. which I say around here at the studio, like I'm 90% of the day, I say, I'm in my office yes. as a producer. So mm -hmm. I'm on that executive way of thinking, you know, checking yeah. on the boxes, running everything. 
Then occasionally I step out of it and I step in here and I'm like, hey, everybody. Who's <laughs> ready to party? <laughs> Who needs music? <laughs> Who needs popcorn? <laughs> I mean, you got to step into that creative land and you step into the emotion and you step into the, the art side of things, the creative side of things and make sure that that's all working and flowing correctly and the right people are on the project and that everything's going okay. And, um, that's a, that's like a flip. I mean, it's a definite, uh, you got to remind yourself when you cross the threshold, like I say here in the studio, one of the doors you walk through to come in here is I say, well, this is where the magic happens. And you yeah. cross through that door. It's yeah. almost like I say that to myself to say, right. you're going to creative land. Yeah. yeah. So leave this here and then let's walk into this way. Yeah. Yes. And if you think about when we consult with clients and, you know, that discovery call and, the, you know, they're always curious about timelines and you're like, well, the majority of it is going to be in the pre-production and that planning yes. and creative, like, how are we going to do this? You go on set and it's like, whoa, it's done. And then you go into post and that's another long journey. Yep. And, uh, you know, everybody is just dreaming about that one day on set or two <laughs> days on set, but really so true. everything leading up to it and everything coming after that. Yeah. So where did you get your, may, I don't know if I say love and passion for producing? That's a good question. Um, I did begin as an editor and director. Um, I started on Adobe Premiere 1.0 and uh, <laughs> just really was doing a lot of editing. But I, I think as I was editing and watching things unfold and like, why didn't they do it that way? And why didn't they mm -hmm. do it this way? Um, I'm also a people person. So being in an edit suite was a little jarring Much, for me. Yeah. So, um, as I stepped out and discovered this other skill set, but with a skill set with an editor's mind, yeah. it, it helped me really, really like bring another level to my producing. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was able to make some decisions quickly on set that I knew the editor, you know, he doesn't need that or he does yeah. need that. Mm -hmm. So it was it was an interesting transition, but one that I think was the right move. Yeah. Yeah. It, editors spend a lot of time by themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't do well. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, if you love people, editing may not be where you fit yeah. <laughs> because there's just so much time that you're exactly. coming through footage. Exactly. And, and all of that. I love, I love spending time with clients too. Really. Mm -hmm. It's, it's so fun getting to know them, getting to know where they are, you know, their, their understanding of this industry. You know, you get the ones who have no, no idea. idea and then the others that are really technically savvy and really understand how to do this. And both are fun. Like, yeah, it's this like dating, like, who yes. are you? And yeah. you know, yeah. long walks on the beach. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, you use so many different parts of your brain in producing and also it's just a, a wide range of things. I mean, you could be worrying about food in like crafty all the way to like, how are you distributing this? Like, yeah. how are you financially yeah. going to gain from this? Yeah. I mean, you're in like two different flopping between the two worlds, yes. like all the time. Yeah. And for me, it was... Um, the first time that I was in front of the camera, I was watching everything behind the camera the whole time. You know, mm -hmm. my, I just was so interested in like, how is this all happening? Like, how are you making this all happen? And mm -hmm. the structure, the organization of it, um, the why, everything just was like, my mind was just like, duh, 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 duh. Mm -hmm. so that was, that was what drew me behind the camera was how to set up. And, and I'm too, like all the people I like sitting and listening to somebody's vision, yeah. like their story, who they are, and then taking the knowledge and the wisdom that you have about the industry and going, ah, mm. I technically don't think that's a feature. I think <laughs> that's an episodic because here's what I know. Yeah. You know, I like finding and putting the right, you know, thing in the right place, mm. you know, and, and making that come to life, you know, and, mm. and at the producing level, you have the ability to speak into the project like that. Yes. You yes. know, and I, and I have found that really interesting. Okay. So y'all met on tour. This was fun. That's right. This yeah. is fun. It was really fun. <laughs> and then been married for 24 years. 22 years. 22 yeah. years. It'll be 23 this 23 December. December. 23 this December. Okay. Secrets. 
how does this how does this work? How do we stay married for 23 years in the industry working <laughs> right, together? Right, working together. That's it. Yes, working yeah. together. We get, that, we get asked that question a lot, you know, because we can people can hate each other by working together. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we um, have either worked at the same company, competing companies, or complementing companies. Um, right now, we are at complementing companies. Vision works with Alan quite often, and um, I mean, it's really about integrity in your job. Yeah, and you know, understanding the position we're in, we, I would never put him in a position where it would make it awkward Mm -hmm. for clients or anybody. And likewise, and also with our employers, like, you know, I don't want to put them in a position where it would be an awkward situation. So that's the biggest thing is integrity and respect. Yeah. And I also understand her struggles as a producer since I'm, since I know the projects she's working on Mm -hmm. and a lot of the stuff that she works on, I, I come in as a musician or a sound engineer or as a mixer for the projects she's working on. So I understand the struggles. I understand dealing with voiceover artists. I understand this, this and that, or why is that file late? You know, I, I understand that. So I, you know, Given that she's my wife, she gets that extra grace (laughs) from me. So, and also another thing that helps is that we don't talk much after we're done with working uh, when we're having dinner or something. Yeah. We don't talk much about work. Yeah. We talk about some other stuff. That way we don't mix things mm-hmm. together and maybe things that I would not, would bring stress into our lives. Yeah. We just leave them out the door and we just occupy ourselves with family, marriage and our kids and that's it. Yeah. You know, so that helps a lot too. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. The crazy hours and stuff, the good thing is we understand each other. Yeah. We've had our kids on set, yeah. you know, our oh, yeah. long hours, long shoot days, this, that weekend, he has to go travel, this and that. So it's just totally understanding that that's just the way it the works. Job. And yeah. when we get a chance to be together, we, we, we do it. Yeah. 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 That's great. Okay. So what's next? What's the future? Well, <laughs> at, I'm with vision and yeah. we are really looking forward to, we, we've just had such great growth and um, just amazing clients. Mm -hmm. And I'm working as VP operations, and this is going to get very boring and technical maybe for some of you, but I really enjoy data and metrics of Uh our industry. Um, A lot of studios struggle with, you know, really important decisions. Mm -hmm. Uh, You feel busy. You're like, we need to bring in people to help, but do you really? So we put together a metric system to really understand how much effort and how mm-hmm. much resources are put into projects. So at the end of the day, you know, we can look at things and make some really, uh, you know, good decisions for yeah. the company yeah. for growth. Yeah. And we've been doing this for several years and it was, it's really exciting to see what is happening. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're really be able to bring stability and, um, to our company so we can offer our clients like good creative. Let's focus yeah. on what's important. Let's yes. not spin our wheels on yes. our own problems. Let's yes. spin our wheels on solving other problems. Yep. So yep. that's been exciting. And we're, we're taking it to the next level with that. So that's exciting. Super exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And for the audio, audio industry, the same way, I mean, my plan is to continue growing. It's been great. Yeah. But obviously with the introduction of artificial intelligence, intelligence has, that has changed the game a little bit. Yeah. For everybody, for us. I mean, yep. I was exposed to certain things in audio with um, AI, and it's it's mind blowing. And I myself, as a musician and as an engineer, have I have to make adjustments around that because mm-hmm. whether I like it or not, it is part of what we do. Yeah. Um, some stuff can be scary at some point. It just can be not can be beneficial, but it can cut jobs for other people in yeah. certain in certain areas. So I have to also protect that the people that work with me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's continue growing, continue obviously offering always the, the, the best product I can offer yeah. and, uh, and, uh, new technology, new this, new that, and yeah, continue the growing yeah. as, as we go. Yes. That's great. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how can our audience today get a hold of each of you? So I'll let you go. How can they reach out to you, support your project, see the things that you've either worked on or working on or future or whatever? 
Well, if you attend the rodeo, you will see our latest project. Um, we just finished up the new rodeo package. When you go watch the bull riders and everything, you see the big LEDs at the top. Uh, we reworked that whole graphics package. So that's oh, something that's really exciting. cool to be looking for. Um, we always enjoy when they update those. That's one of our favorite things to do. And it's a Houston iconic event. Yes. Um, but you can reach me at uh, my email, which I believe you could share, Ruth, yeah. at visionproductiongroup.com, our website. Um, and we're always listening. Social media? Yeah, you can reach us. Well, probably LinkedIn would be the LinkedIn. best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of okay. keep my social media less work related. But. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so LinkedIn, and then yeah. for you. For me, I'm. Uh, you can always find me on Instagram, Alan A L A N Villatoro, V I L L A T O R O Music, uh, and then same thing is for Facebook. I am actually on social media actively because that's the way I share. Yeah. You know, all of my work, all of my stuff, all the training I do with young people. Uh, oh, which one of those young people are, are is our son, who is now dedicated to do music and going to school for music. And we do gig around all the time playing music and making people happy. And, and oh, wow. we enjoy that, that before he goes to college. Yeah. So um, and my website as well, alanvillatoromusic.com. I can be found there and you can see some of my work, hear some of my work and, you know, contact me. there. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> that's Thank amazing. You. So thanks for sitting with us on Set Life today. I hope you were inspired by their story. I was inspired. What an amazing story to be married almost 23 years yeah. in the industry, folks. It is possible. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. So, no, thanks to the great careers and all y'all have done in the industry. We appreciate you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Until then, we'll see you on Set Life.